been a while since we've had a Decky Loader update and we have some fantastic new plugins to have a look at. If you don't know what Decky Loader is all about, just take a look at my screens here for the Steam Deck. You'll notice they look very different from the standard. This gives a plugin that you can add or access from your quick menu and access tons of awesome plugins. I'm going to run through my favorites, starting off with the newest, and then I will finish off with a guide for those that want to install this from scratch. First off, you may see a new play count up in the top right, showing the current number of players. This is a plugin called Play Count and has some fantastic additions to be able to change the icons and other bits and pieces. So you can customize this very nicely and choose where it is up in the top right. I've switched mine to users. And I do love the animation as you come into the screen to show the current player count. So check that one out. How Long To Beat is finally back on Decky and fully functional. If you want to customize the style, just open up the plugin and choose what you like. I do like to have the cleaner look without view details and also not having the all play styles shown. But if you do make an adjustment, you do have to leave the game page and come back in for that to pop up. But if you do want the view details, you can go through to the full site and get all of the stats as well as the reviews and other bits and pieces as well. Overall though, it is fantastic to have this at hand and I have missed it as not having this on my store pages just makes it look a bit bland. Make sure to check that out if you uninstalled it when it stopped working. For those that have been waiting for some time, there is now Is There Any Deal available on Decky. Once you add this, it's only visible on the store page, but you'll see this little pop up down the bottom showing the lowest price on Steam. Can't navigate to it with the controller, you'll have to either use the touch screen or the mouse shortcut. And you can see the history here. Most of the time it is still gonna be cheaper on Steam, but if there is a bargain elsewhere, then you can find out from there. To access these, once you've got Decky installed, you just go to the market icon in the Decky shortcut from the quick menu up in the top here. By default, it shows alphabetical, but if you do wanna just check on the latest editions, you can change this to newest first. And this is where you'll see the play count. And is there any deal? Fairly high up at the top. Didn't manage to get picture in picture to work the way that I wanted it to, so I've not been using that or won't be featuring it today. And there is a new beta plugin that we may be taking a look at very soon about adding FSR to non-FSR games. One of the plugins that I have been using that has had quite a big update recently is the Storage Cleaner plugin. As you will see here, I've got around 84 gig of non-Steam games or space taken up and if you go into the storage cleaner plugin it now gives a breakdown of the steam games installed that are taking up shader cache as well as non-steam games and the compatibility folders that have taken up we've got some great warnings about any games that don't have cloud save support so clearing out the compact data may clear out your save games if you don't back them up but now you can either choose to just wipe everything or make a selection of shader cache and compact data folders that you want to remove and clear them out. This is a great reference to check which games have been installed against games that you've uninstalled that may be leaving leftover files so you can clear them out and try and reclaim some of that other data. You can see I just did a minor update there and managed to reclaim about five gig. Next up is a minor one, but KDE Connect can now be used from game mode. This allows you to use your phone as a keyboard and mouse or remote input, as well as being able to copy things like password to your Steam Deck's clipboard for pasting into items as well. So very useful. I have a full guide on how to set up KDE Connect already on the channel as it's a bit more involved, but I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Next up is a plugin that I still can't believe isn't built into the Steam Deck, and that is Auto Suspend. This has very simple configuration. I do just use the defaults, but you can set up your own custom alarms and override these if you want for warning and critical at 15%, where it will automatically warn me with a toast message at 20%, but at 15%, in case I've missed it, it will suspend the Steam Deck. So I like putting it into sleep mode, to give me that final warning that I need to make sure that I back up my saves or find some power. For anybody who plays regularly on battery, this is a must because it's very easy to miss any steam warnings and end up getting shut down and losing your progress. Next up is one of my favorites and that is CSS Loader. 
This has its own kind of theme and plugin library built into it as well, using that download icon. But you can see that I've got two major ones put in here, which is Obsidian, which means that black theme, and Switch Like Home, which makes the recent game section almost full screen and gives much bigger background images. But these two together, I just absolutely love the look and feel this gives with a kind of black and white theme when you're scrolling through with large background images on your game library absolutely tons of plugins so you will have to go through and see which ones are best for you but if you go into their plugin library they do have last updated and you can sort it by popularity and lots of other bits and pieces i probably should do a video of some of the best css loader plugins at some point let me know in the comments below if that would be of interest but there are absolutely thousands and most of these will be down to personal preference if you've seen some of the previous updates, then you would have also noticed Steam Grid DB. This just is a very quick and easy way of changing all of the artwork on the Steam Deck for your game library thumbnails. It adds this change artwork section from the game properties menu, and you can change the capsule, wide capsule, and hero images for any game. This is especially useful if you have non-Steam games or launches installed, so you can see all of my launches, which normally would have just a gray icon, all have artwork here. And if you've named the non-Steam app something sensible, then you'll easily be able to find them in the library and update the imagery. Wine Cellar is up next, and this is a very quick and easy way to manage custom Proton versions from within game mode. If you've played around with custom GE Protons or other Protons, then you would know normally you would have to go to the QT Proton app app in desktop mode. This isn't quite as up to date. This is normally around a day behind new releases, but if you are just looking to play around or just manage your current Proton installations or update when required, then this is a much simpler way of being able to do it without switching to desktop mode. Junk Store up next, and I will put a link in the description below to a full run through of Junk Store as this is very involved in itself. Essentially, Junk Store is a plugin that allows you to run Epic Game Store games and manage wine tricks and stuff for them from within game mode as well. As I said, it's not as simple as just installing the Decky plugin for that one, so check out the full guide if that's of interest to you. You may have noticed those icons in the top left of my game pages saying Forked or Platinum or Gold. That is Proton DB badges. So if you do want to have status from the ProtonDB website of how well these games are running on Proton, and that could be on normal Linux as well as SteamOS, it's also a very handy plugin to have. And if you click on the icon, it will take you to the full website so you can see all of the user reports for that game. For those of you that are looking to get this installed, first of all, you need to go to your power menu and switch to desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, you will want to open your favorite browser and head to decky.xyz and then hit the download button in the top right corner. Once this is downloaded, very important, don't try and run it from here because if you do, you'll get a choose application launcher and it won't run properly. What you want to do is open the folder to view the file and this should open your download directory. From here, then just double click it and say yes to continue and it will pop up a console window. It will ask you for a sudo password. If you have never set one, then you will need to create one from your user first. Don't worry if you've never created one, it's very easy to set. If you have set one and you can't remember it, I have a guide for how to reset that, but it's not very easy and you will need access to a mouse and keyboard as well as a USB drive. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Once you've entered your sudo password, it will give you a prompt. If you're running this for a second time, you can just update to the latest release, uninstall or just clear out all the plugins. You will occasionally have to rerun this after big SteamOS updates when your plugin icon disappears from that quick menu. It's not the end of the world, it does keep all the plugins, but sometimes the SteamOS update does mess with that integration, so you just have to come and rerun that installation. Once the file's finished though, that's it, job done. You can close out of this, switch back to desktop mode, and open your quick menu so that you get that plugin icon and start browsing the store for all your favorite plugins. Let us know in the comments below which ones you're picking up. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.